A while ago, I published a video entitled, Will Joshua Graham Hunt You Down? It ended up performing very well. Thank you, lady and gentlemen. God <laughs> created man. Everything was going great. Then Eve came around and said, Apple? That was a joke. I suggested a mod idea in that video for Joshua Graham to actually hunt the player down. I came across this individual in the comment section who claimed to be a mod author. Your proposal is acceptable. <laughs> so I thought, cool. I wonder how long it'll take him. It's not my area of expertise, so I was like, a week? A month? But as I was going through some comments recently, I see this. And this. So I go back to the mod author's comment and lo and behold. Surprise! Joshua Graham's revenge was uploaded to the mod nexus on October 28th. Two days after I published my video. This dude wrote, This was made in roughly an hour to an hour and a half. Damn! It took me like five hours just to make the video. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Looking at his page, you'll see that he's a veteran. His name is Ashton LP101. You may remember me from Project Mojave, New Vegas sewers, cutting room floor camp golf confrontation, and many more. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now, initially, he did not go through with the idea of Joshua Graham continuously hunting the player down due to complaints of people being annoyed by NCR and Legion hit squads. But I am very proud of him, because as an optional download, you can get the Never gonna give you up. edition. Well, we better test this out. So I installed the mod to see what's up. The mod author said that it doesn't matter if you kill Joshua and Zion or not. I anyway, I started blasting. But as a quick side note, I saw your comments about Joshua attacking you at the entrance of the Narrows. Yes, he does attack you but only after going through the rigmarole of the main quest leading up to the point where you first speak to Daniel, whether you side with the Legion or not. Now you have to speak to Daniel. Joshua won't be there otherwise. But after your nice little chat, My friends, it has often been said that I like war. And so it was. Joshua was supposed to spawn a few days after the ending and again five to six days after that. But on the way to the safe house, I ran into a very disinterested Legion assassin. After killing him, I ran into three of them. Ten seconds later. When the time comes, I'll be the one to kill you. So I slept for six days. After that, I'll walk out into the wasteland and I'll probably run into him some- Hold up! Only a matter of time. They say that on the sixth day, God created humans. On the sixth day, God created Joshua Graham because this dude is made of brick. Also, you end up with duplicates of his unique equipment, so that's something. But after this, I thought, how far can I take this? So I traveled to the strip, went into the presidential suite of the Lucky 38, populated with all of the game's followers, and slept for another six days. But on day four, I started sleeping with my gun drawn, and I increased the difficulty to easy. On day five, Cass was getting kind of freaky, and on day six, Arcade wanted some sexy time to- I'm a bitch, I'm an anyway. I'm tired of getting shot. Help! You know what? I'm going to Hidden Valley. Power armored clad military types everywhere. Super secret underground bunker with its own cloaking device. Surely he wouldn't seriously be able to find me here. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. What? Oh Jesus! My motherfuck- Oh, oh Jesus! This dude rocked me. He did so much damage so fast, he killed me in vats. Not gonna lie, after this, I was getting kinda skittish. I said, one more test. I was playing off a save file that was before I played Old World Blues. So I traveled to the satellite to start the deal. But you can be a Thomas for now. Crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Be gone, vile man! Be gone from me! Anyway, 
I had to wait till midnight, and again, I'll be honest, my butthole puckered up tighter than the snare drum waiting for that clock to stop ticking, which you can probably tell by the way I was frantically looking around. But I got the big mountain, the dome, spoke to the think tank, penises, and went to bed. But this time? Where did she go? Nothing. I went outside looking for him, he was Casper. I was trying to be Christina Ricci, but he wasn't having it. Maybe that's an idea for another optional version of the mod. The Never Gonna Give You Up Ultimate Edition. You could be in Ulysses' temple. Brought the bear, then the bull. Brought me. You've called down the wrath! But even so, the mod's pretty sweet. Hats off to you, Ashton LP 101 I wonder if we can get bigger YouTubers like Juicehead or MXR to cover it. We might have to convince them that it's immersive. But I wanted to try just one more thing. Don't forget to endorse the mod if you use it. I have another idea for a video like this, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Twitter and Discord, description box below. Please consider watching some of my older videos. And until next time, tagline. Zip it up and zip it out. Have a nice day.